the DO holds company meeting, asks attendees to look under their seats. Oh, it's the owl house. It's satire. Let's go. Let's go read. Yeah. The owl house. Owls outhousers. In the tradition of Pulitzer, Hearst, and Wordham. <laughs> The journalism the comics industry deserves. Uh, all right, let's find out what's going on. Dan DiDio holds company meeting, asks attendees to look under their seats. Written by Tess Harlow. All right, I'm ready. Um, attendees are said to have left crying tears of joy. We got a picture of Oprah Winfrey, and like all these women are getting, I don't know what this is, and they're happy, and that's Dan DiDio. He's standing there. Uh, he's not in proper perspective, I don't think. See, the horizon line, well, unless he's not standing on the stage with Oprah. No, let's remember horizon line right here. Uh, Oprah's on the stage, they're standing on the floor, she's elevated above them. Dan DiDio, his head would be up here. Okay. So, uh, we know perspective, we know that whoever... That's how we know this is a forgery, Dan wasn't there. Alright, hold on. I'm ready. Staffers and freelance creators at DC Comics filed into a rented auditorium Thursday at the request of co-publisher Dan DiDio. The room was abuzz with anticipation about what may be announced. While many suspected another universal reboot, some wondered if the announcement would involve staffing changes as major figures such as Dinesh Shamdasini Sani and Chris Rial have begun exiting their longtime employers. At 10 a.m. sharp, Didio walked on stage holding co-publisher Jim Lee, who was napping. The meeting began with an inspirational message from Didio. Those in attendance say the message was one of self-worth and empowerment, causing some to tear up. But the highlight of the day occurred when Didio did something for his audience. I know a lot of, quote, I know a lot of you have been working hard for years, unquote, he said, quote, I believe you deserve recognition for that work and not just recognition, but opportunity. So I decided I would share one of my favorite things with you. If you would, please take a moment and look under your chairs. If you do, you'll find dot, 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 unquote. The room filled with the soft noise of movement as the crowd leaned forward and reached beneath them, some leaving their seats to do so. The loud gasps and squeal followed with some exclaiming thanks to their respective God or lack thereof. Quote, a new imprint, unquote, the D.O. yelled. The crowd cheered and clapped as he walked the stage and pointed to various audience members. Quote, you get an imprint, and you get an imprint, and you get an imprint. Everyone gets an imprint, unquote. This caused such a ruckus, furry Jim Lee almost woke from his nap. Dot, dot, dot. Almost. A few of these imprints have been announced, such as Neil Gaiman, Sandman, Universe... Oh, you see my name. Here comes the punchline. And the black label imprint. But there is no telling how many imprints may be announced by the end of 2018. Rumors suggest DC is not turning down any ideas, but have asked Ethan Van Skyver to reconsider his white label pitch. Ha 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 ha.